Well, it's five o'clock. Here's my progress so far. Getting the tent out next. I just got the tarp for it laid down. And I'm gonna sweep it off. Dug my thermometer out and put it on that nail right there that I drove into this tree two years ago. The very same nail. So this is my Selkirk spike tent, which I bought four years ago from the wall tent shop in Moscow, Idaho. Bought it online and it's a 12 by 12. It has a stove jack in it. That's why I got it. It's got a sewn-in vinyl floor, so it is kind of a chore for one guy to set up, but it can be done. And I'll show you how here in a few minutes. Usually my buddy Roger from Arizona is already up here, and he loves setting up tents. So I let him have at it, but he's not here yet. He's not coming for another week, so it's up to me. I'm just getting the tent laid out. Here's the front door here. It takes three poles, a center pole, two end poles, and then six side poles on each side of the tent that are guyed out. Okay, I need some big stakes. I'm gonna stake out each of the four corners. Start with that. These are the stakes that come with the Selkirk and they're pretty heavy duty. If you're gonna drive a stake like that into the ground, use a real hammer. <laughs> the first year I set this up, I didn't put in any any stakes and I had the thing collapse on me and I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. God, what an idiot. But it was my first wall tent, so these tents come with 200 feet of really high quality tent rope and a whole bunch of these rope tensions. I've got my four corners staked down, my front kind of. There's a rock under there, I think. The back uh, and the four corner poles. Now, I'm going to um, unzip the door. And this has a front and a rear door. And I'm gonna get the end pole right over there. I'm gonna go in the tent and put up the uh, uh, end pole, the back wall pole. Then I'm gonna put up the center pole. Then I'm gonna put up this pole. And after that, all I do is uh, install the rest of the side poles, go around, make sure everything's nice and tight, and I'm done for the night anyhow. I'll move in my cot and stuff like that. The stove. I'll put up manana. Well, here goes. I hope the GoPro doesn't get knocked off. Damn. Hmm. Well, let me think about this for a minute. Rich Tuck, the owner of the wall tent shop, has a whole bunch of videos on YouTube about all of his tents and stoves, and they're very helpful in learning how to set these tents up and watch this last night in my motel room and pretty sure they said start at the rear so damn it oh god okay i'm gonna god damn it i'm gonna throw the pole ahead of me oh i was gonna say and i hope it doesn't come apart yeah it just freaking came apart I don't know if my camera's still working. God dang it. Anyhow, this is how one man sets up the Selkirk spike tent. Sort of, kind of. I just gotta get out of here. I'm doing the center pole next. Help if I unzip the door all the way. Oh, the camera's still on. Whew. Oh, 
This has been a long ass day. This is awesome hunting country, but man, is it work to ever get here and get set up. It's uh, Sunday evening, my third day in camp, and I wanted to show you my spike tent all set up before I put the uh, rain fly on it tomorrow. As you can see, I have uh, all the side poles guyed out really nice and tight now. There's six on each side. Then there's a long guy rope on the back and on the front of the tent. Not going to take you inside just yet. It's kind of messy. I did put my um, Nyko breakdown wood stove inside there. And it's all set up, ready to go. But I can't put the stove pipe through the stove pipe jack until I have the rain fly on. So I did manage to get my rain fly on this morning. And I'm going to show you how the finished tent looks. My camp is now complete. It's all set up. Okay. Time for the big tour of my tent. You ready? Here we go. There. I'll go back here. There she is. And like I said, the, the rear of the tent opens the same identical way. So on a hot day, you could really get some air going through here. Okay, here's my stove. Here's my suitcase with all my clothes, my Primo's game collar, my computer, my hip boots, my camo power pack where I recharge all my GoPro stuff. And starting over here are my four action packers, which have all of my food, all of my gear. Yeah, I know, way too much food. I'm here for six weeks, not six months, but I don't know, there's just something about coming up here where there's no stores or anything. That... I have a little table here next to my bed. Here's my broom dustpan I'm constantly sweeping. And over here, I built this really cool little cook shack. My ice chest is under that. It's my water supply. Well, that's my camp. And I'm really happy to have it all set up finally.